you could potentially have a whole culture that sounds Christian, looks Christian, chants Christian, and go to hell. Who is against an exoskeleton Christian culture more than Jesus? Go read Matthew 23. <laughs> Hey everybody, Pastor Mark here for Pastor Mark Reacts. So glad that you're watching this. Hopefully you're having a good day. Today we are responding to the question of Kanye West. He converted to Jesus. How legit is this? Let's talk about it. Glad you are among us. Make sure you like and share this video. Often when we see celebrities come out as born again Christians, we know this is, as Christians, you're like, yeah. please don't say something crazy. It comes yeah, on the exactly. heels of a bender where their choice was do so much blow that you would end up in a ditch and be in a tabloid or accept <laughs> Jesus, yes. yeah. right? And it usually comes, or, or some form of religion. Yeah. But it's usually accompanied by some level of insanity, like think Lindsay Lohan with a hijab and the like. Oh my gosh. With Kanye West, we're seeing the opposite. Someone who's been known for being kind of crazy, and he's actually lucid right now, able yeah. to articulate his beliefs. He's seems to be becoming more humble. Like we're seeing a new and improved Kanye, which is the exact reversal of what you often see with people yeah, who are so new converts. I think what happens sometimes, like even we see this at Village a lot too, where I was having a conversation with someone the other day and they're like, you know, I see all these Christians and I wanna get into their life because they're they're claiming to be Christians, but they, they just aren't figuring this stuff out. Like they're living, you know, a particular life and I just wanna get in and fix that. And the conversation was kind of like, okay, how long have you been a Christian? And it's like, well, since I was, you know, grade three. And it's like, okay, so you have no understanding what it's like to live the Christian life in such a way that it's gonna take you time on the road, not of justification, but of sanctification. Meaning someone can have a truly saved life heart, but, but they're years of development away from being able to kill the sin in their life and be able to function theolo theologically with theological depth and in a way that their life is a witness toward the world. And so I agree in the sense of not holding new Christians up and saying, hey, they're the greatest example because you have oftentimes moments where they fall and whatever, but often not casting disparagements on their faith and recognizing they are having a true conversion experience, though they're going to not be perfect in their experience along the way. Alexander Solzhenitsyn talks about if I point you on the way to home and I'm walking along it drunkenly, does it make it any less the way home? And I think that that Kanye in this moment is, is trying to point people to Jesus in the way that he's actually had an experience with him. It's not going to be perfect, just like anybody's representation of him isn't going to be perfect. So I think on the one hand, yes, you know, you're not going to put all your eggs in any basket of any person trying to, because as I talk about often, it's like people go, I don't want to become a Christian because look at all those hypocrites who go to the church. It's like, yeah, they're hypocrites because they, some of them might not know Jesus, as many of them don't, but also because they're not perfect. The point of Christianity is not to look at people, but to take all of it and look at Jesus. He's the only perfect one. And to, and to recognize, and then to see, you know, as he talked about, yeah, Kanye is in an environment uh, that isn't necessarily always warm to some of the Christian ideas that he has. And to have that pressure um, in his life is very interesting to watch. And, and it probably, in a sense, should be more true about most of us in our life. There's things, that, ways that we're supposed to act. You know, you read the Sermon on the Mount, you read the early church, it's like there's a reason there was pressure. These are, this is what people who write books on the Sermon on the Mount, they talk about how it's the alternative kingdom. It's the church is a very alternative community in in the sense of like it's supposed to look, feel, sound different than the world and it's supposed to butt up against the ways of the world. That's why First John says you either are of kind of the kingdom of God or you're of the world. And if you're of the kingdom, the world will kind of turn against you. And I think that's what he and others experience in different forms. And you got to be willing to go, this is actually the cost of my discipleship. So. Kanye West is definitively taking the most unpopular, risky positions you could take in today's hip hop culture, yep. regardless of where you line up. Yep. I have to respect that, and I'll, I'll not doggy pile on someone for doing it. I mean, it. yes and no. Uh, there, There is like so much of American culture is, is Christian. And so you have a whole segment of society who, you know, in God we trust. Uh, when you go, yeah, that's in our money. That's not on our money. That's not on Canadian money. When you go to a, a, a law court, there's like the Ten Commandments. You put your hand on a Bible. There is a um, there's a Christian undercurrent in American culture. 
that is different than European culture and Canadian culture. That is still a thing. And so on the one hand, what he's saying about, yes, it is risky to posit yourself against some of these values and whatever that you used to promote and now you don't and they're destructive and you wanna preach against them now, that is risky legitimately. Um, but the concept that you could go from that and still get up at an award show and thank God for an album with 500 F-bombs and 700, you, you know, in whatever genre of music or a movie where you're, you, you know, there's nudity, there's sex all over the place and then you're like, man, God gave me the ability to make this film. There's always been that world where they overlap, where it's not like clean, like I'm a Christian, therefore I make left behind movies. You know, there's always been that Thing. And so I think it's it's even more of a uh, area, the gray area in the American culture where Christianity is so, like those, when you go to an Easter service in the United States, it's like those services are ran. Church is a big deal. It's a bit more part of the culture. Certainly more so than their European counterparts or Canadian counterparts. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I, I think there's, there is some shift that's happened, some, some contrast, but then some of it is not everybody feels like this is a world you have to pick apart that easy because it all is kind of what it's always been. And, uh, and there's not the huge, I lived in one world, now I live in another world. It's like, well, it's all kind of part of the same world of people are spiritual, people are religious, people talk about moralism and now I'm just kind of making that more official in my life. Not understanding maybe even the deeper thing under the surface. It's like when people, they want to try to create cultural change by changing political laws, for instance. So let's, if we want to affect the culture, let's pick at the law courts. And it's like Christianity comes along and goes, if you want to change culture, reach the lawyers for Jesus reach the judges, reach the law students, get them to love Jesus, and, and that will over time filter down to culture. If all you do is change the laws, for instance, you could potentially have a whole culture that sounds Christian, looks Christian, chants Christian, and go to hell when they die. Who is against an exoskeleton Christian culture more than Jesus. Go read Matthew 23, you know. You look this way on the outside, but on the inside you're this. You look this way, so great. We all say the Lord's Prayer together around the table, but we're all, we don't believe any of this, and we're all a gong show. It's like, what does that do? So I think there's always this need to be picking apart what's cultural Christianity, what's real Christianity, and how do we actually exist in real Christianity to affect culture, redeem it, and all that. And, and I think this is part of the conversation that's being had. Is this authentic? Is this real? Is this just a cultural expression? Um, and where, what are the implications of this as it goes forward? Which is an important conversation we all should be having about ourselves. All right, fascinating conversation about celebrities and Jesus. Hopefully you liked it. If you got to the end of the video, man, I applaud you. Uh, make sure that you like, share this, and write in the comments the kinds of videos that you want to see me react to. Hopefully you have a great day. Thanks for watching.